then he squeezed my knuckles before I could get a grip. It made me look weak, man. He, he handshake shamed me. He knuckle fucked you. Oh, you pervert. He didn't knuckle fuck me. It's okay, man. It happens to everyone. It's nothing to be ashamed of. What you need to do is create your own handshake. How is that going to help? You remember the Vulcan handshake on Star Trek? Yeah. The whole reason Nimoy created it is because Shatner was always trying to knuckle fuck him whenever they shook hands. That can't be right. Logic. You are so full of shit. Oh, I'm full of shit. Yeah, you're full of shit. Hey, Dale. Beth finally dump your dumbass? Yeah, she probably found herself a real man. Someone with a cool name like Jeff, Jim, John. I need to talk to you guys. Dave. Hey, uh, tell Jason about the Vulcan handshake. Oh, how uh, Shatner was trying to knuckle fuck the all the time. See? Told you, shit stain. Call me shit stain one more time and see what happens. Shit stain. Shit stain. Shitty, shitty shit stain. <laughs> guys! Hey, guys, break it! Break it up! We, we good? I need to talk to you guys. It's important. We'll start talking if it's so important. I thought we could watch Jeopardy. Jeopardy? What the fuck? Jeopardy's the worst. The wheel's where it's at. Price is Right is where it's at. I brought beer. Huh? You gonna sit down? You're blocking the TV. Yeah, you make a better door than the window. You know I love you guys, right? Dude, we're not having a threesome with you. You weirdo. Can I please talk for five minutes? Jeopardy starts in three. I'm moving in with Beth next week. You're not moving out. Yeah, is this some sort of prank? Like revenge for when Jerry used your toothbrush to clean the toilet? Ooh, when did that happen? I don't know what he's talking about. Good save. Are you almost done? We have to go. You said this would be quick. Just a moment, sweetie. I I'm almost done. Hey, Beth. Hey, Beth. I'll be at Beth's the next couple days, getting everything ready. You're really moving out? Yes. You guys have two weeks to figure out what you're doing. Suck it, losers. That was rude. I know, right? Jeopardy's nowhere even close to wheel or prices, right? I was talking about the beer and the door slam. Oh, yeah. Hey, if Dale's moving out, then that means... We're gonna need a new roommate. Oh, I was gonna say we could set up an office in his bedroom. What would we do with an office? Business. Cork boards, thumbtacks, staplers. Stress balls, casual Fridays, a fax machine. What the fuck are you talking about? Xerox. Hey, Rex, got a minute? Uh, yeah, make it quick. I'm kind of busy. I'm moving out. Hallelujah, free at last. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? The guys are still going to stay. No, 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 oh, no, no. Uh, how are they going to pay rent? They have no jobs. Jason still owes me 50 bucks from a, a favor I did from a few months back. Please, don't kick him out. At least give him a chance. I got bills to pay. And I gots to get paid. I'll, I'll give you the next two months rent. Just don't tell him. Okay, okay, uh, what about the upstairs bathroom? The security deposit didn't cover that? No. All right. All right, let's rent 
Uh, that's bathroom. And the back door. Back door. Uh, well, that'll do it. And the window they busted last week. Oh. And the hole in the wall. Hole. Oh. Why don't you just give me the whole thing and we'll call it even. So, uh, uh all right. Oh. Take a stay. For now. All right. Well, thanks for helping. Oh. Yo, yo, yo. What up, dog? What the hell? I want to make a good impression on this guy. I stayed up. All night watching Fresh Prince reruns and listening to Tupac albums. You working on that special handshake? Nah, I'm working on my finger blasting. Seriously, why are you dressed like that? This guy needs to know that we're down with the brothers. We want him to think we're cool, don't we? Cool? You look like a goat fucked a government-issued bag of M&Ms. You're just jealous because you don't have a sweet goatee. Whatever, 1997 Chandler. We got two people coming over today. Jamal White and Jack Cracker. Man, fuck Jack Cracker. We have a chance to finally have a black roommate. Do you know what this could do for our lives? Having a black roommate is not going to change our lives. Come on, Jerry. Haven't you always wanted a black friend? Well, yeah. Who hasn't? Just think about it. We can get Rex to finally respect us. And this guy might even be able to teach us how to play basketball. How to dance. I mean, we could really learn how to bust a move. And we could finally watch BET. Okay, but tone it down a notch, will ya? I got everything covered. I made fried chicken and cornbread, and I got red pop. Isn't that kind of racist? Everyone loves fried chicken. That's probably Jamal White now. Go change your clothes. You look like an idiot. Can I help you? Hi, I'm here about the roommate ad. Oh. You must be Jack Cracker. You're early. No, I'm Jamal. Jamal White. What are you talking about? I don't have time for this shit. Are you Jerry? Yeah. Why are you tripping? Uh, excuse me? Why you be tripping? Are you Jason and Jerry? <laughs> you hear that, Jerry girl? This fool think he know us. You best get to stepping, son. I'm... I'm terribly sorry. I'm gonna go. This is a bad idea. Run along. Wait, I, I'm sorry for my roommate. Are you really Jamal? Yeah. But you're... White? I see what's happening here. My parents were black. I was adopted when I was a newborn. They wanted a son named Jamal. So, here I am. You're just not what we were expecting. I, I never am. Blind dates are always fun. Listen, I'm just gonna let you guys go. I can tell I'm not wanted. Move along, son. We ain't got room for no more honkies. You feel me, dog? That fool was tripping. What's the matter with you? What the hell's the matter with me? What's the matter with you, dog? Stop calling me dog. Stop tripping. I told you, son, we ain't got room for no more white boys, honky. Hey, I'm Jack. Jack Cracker. I'm here about the roommate ad. Hey, Mr. Cracker, I'm Jerry, and this is... This must be Jason. You can call me J-Dog? Two, two Gs? No. No. Mr. Cracker, wait. I... I made fried chicken and cornbread. This ain't Popeyes. I don't want any of your shitty ass cornbread and fried chicken. Look, I don't know what you two assholes are trying to pull here, but I don't want nothing to do with it. You should be ashamed of yourself, both of you. Thug life. <laughs> I got a two liter of red pop inside if you're thirsty. Go to hell.
Nice going, Vanilla Ice. Now we'll never know how to bust a move. I thought it said Chug Life. It looks like a C. Two lines in it. I don't know what it is. Hi, I'm looking for a Jerry Cherry. I'm Jerry. <clears throat> my name is Lawrence. Well, my friends call me Larry. This is going to sound strange, but is your mother Norma Jean Jenkins? No. She's Mrs. Norma Jean Cherry. Yeah, she married Bob Papa Cherry, but her maiden name is Jenkins. Yeah, so? She's my mother, too. I'm your half-brother. <laughs> nice to meet you. Are you trying to knuckle-fuck me? Do I look like William Shatner to you? I would know if I had a brother. Remember how Mom was always traveling? Yeah, the circus doesn't say put forever, you know. She told you the circus? She told us she was a truck driver. She lied to both of us. She had two families. Maybe more. Like those specials on 2020? Exactly. Wait, if you're Jerry's brother, then that means... I'm the black roommate we've always wanted. <laughs> we did it. We did it. That's <laughs> amazing. What's your name again? Larry. Larry. Let's go ahead. Okay. What happened, dude? Where's Beth? We got into a big fight. Her parents don't want us living together if we're not married. So you're moving back in, huh? Yeah, I don't have money for a wedding. Or a ring, for that matter. What, Jerry? I'm black! That's great, Jerry. Good for you, buddy. Oh my god. I can finally do it. This is Jerry's brother. Hi, I'm Larry. Oh, nice to meet you. Jerry and I are biological brothers. Same mother. Well, any brother of Jerry's is a brother of mine. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing negative at all. It's just that we're like family around here. Oh, yeah. We keep it all in the family. Just like I keep it in Jerry's mom. Oh. <laughs> what did you say about my mama? Nothing. I was talking about Jerry's mom. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, dude, where are you going? Now that I'm black, I'm going to fulfill a lifelong dream. I'm going to be a Harlem Globetrotters. Nice knowing you, Jive Turkey. You probably have a lot of questions. Lots. Want a drink? What the? You know what? Yeah. Let me show you around the place. Thank <laughs> you.